really sure why you don't feel good. Sometimes there doesn't need to be a reason. Sometimes you just need to let yourself feel sad. Validate your own feelings and understand. That right now, you're just not feeling good. And I understand the tug of war of depression and anxiety. You're anxious, so you feel like you need to do something, something productive. But then depression just leaves you exhausted no energy to do any of it. This could be a sign that maybe you need a break. From whatever is causing you this sadness. Break to clear your mind. Get yourself thinking straight again. Reconnect with your friends, loved ones. As much as you want to isolate right now. away because they love and care about you you know you matter a lot more to a lot of people even if you don't know it You just existing in their life is already such an incredible impact. And I know you want to be a good influence on people. You want to help others. And that is incredibly kind of you in such an awful world. But it's important to take care of yourself too. So then you will have that strength to take care of others when they need you. And know that They will be there for you when you need them. In case no one has told you lately, I'm really proud of you. What you're doing is hard, it's difficult, it's lonely. So your persistence and discipline will not go to waste. But truthfully, From the bottom of my heart, I am very proud of you. You've 
been working incredibly hard and you deserve to rest. I see all of the work that you've been putting in, even the work that you don't tell people about. And look how far you've come because of this. Think back to last year. Where were you last year at this time? You were smaller, right? You were still figuring things out. Finally getting your foot in the door, starting to understand. And now you're here. Sure, maybe your ultimate goal hasn't been reached yet. But we both know that that will take a lot of time and it's not reasonable to give yourself such a small amount of time to complete that the progress that you've made since last year is amazing and that's the beauty about humans how we're capable of change. Every day we're changing, even the slightest amount, even if you don't notice it. And hey, if you're not happy with where you are right now, that's okay. Because you have the power to change that. You will continue to grow. You will continue to learn. And you will continue to change. But it's up to you to put that into motion. wait around every day hoping and praying for something to happen if you aren't putting in any of that effort to make it happen you have the power inside of you to make the change that you want to see I know, change can be very scary, especially if you're the type of person who's used to having a routine. You may think of all of the things that could go wrong. What about the good things that could happen too? Don't let fear stop you from making the change that you want just because you're scared of the things that could go wrong because for the amount of things that could go wrong there's twice the amount for the things that could go right It's okay to be scared. It's okay to be unsure. It's normal. 
offer people to be uncertain about what to do next. The amount of people you see in your life who you think, oh, they must have their life together. Maybe take a closer look. Although they present themselves to have their life together, maybe they don't. Maybe there's a part of their life they struggle in too. Everyone has their own struggles. Nobody's perfect. And you don't have to be perfect either. Remember, your biggest critic is yourself. So think about how your friends treat you. Think about how your loved ones treat you. Take an example from them. Learn to treat yourself with more kindness because you deserve it. You deserve to treat yourself with kindness. You deserve happiness and you deserve peace. Thank you for talking with me. But I think it's time to drink our tea. I don't want it to get cold.